Hello everybody and welcome back to Wreckfest. Today I'm going to continue the career. We're going to continue racing in the National Amateurs and try to get enough points to unlock these other events. Uh, the whole right side is currently locked. We need 600 more points to unlock these events. But the left side is unlocked. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the Compact Clash, which is a four event, four race day event. Uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of cars we can use in this event. Actually, if we just go ahead and start it, we can go ahead and pick, which I think we didn't pick. I think we're actually just going to use the Killer Bee, uh, which is pretty interesting because um, it's uh, kind of an interesting car. So we're here at Rosenheim Raceway, the main circuit. And uh, I guess we're going to see how the Killer Bee is going to be. I thought we were going to be able to pick our car, but uh, we did not. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see how the Killer Bee is going to be. Uh, I'm going to leave all this. Let's put it back to standard suspension. Let's do standard differential. I'm going to leave like that because I remember that's the best way it was. Grid size of 16, three laps. We have to spin out three opponents for the b bonus uh, target, which I don't know if we're going to do. We're going to give it a shot. I, I believe this is compact racing anyway, so we might be we might have been limited to the Killer Bee. But let's go ahead and give it a shot and see. Jesus. Jesus, why are you shoving me off the track? Oh, chaos. Oh, there's a wall. Just keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Jesus. All right. I did not know there was going to be a wall in that corner. Wow. Okay. We're up to fourth, which is good. We just have to hold off the people behind us, try to catch these guys. Can't let them just get off in the lead. We definitely needed to change, Jesus, the brake bias. Because I just locked up the fronts pretty easily. Go on the inside. Keep an eye out for any woo walls. That guy just tried to spin me. Not really sure why. Oh, we got a joker that we can take, and we're going to take it, apparently. Didn't realize that's what we were going to do. Keep it straight. The killer bee is... It's not bad. I mean, I prefer this over the firefly any day. But... It's not the best. Oh, that corner was really nice. It takes quick corners, like c complete turnaround corners, very nicely. Uh, other corners, I don't know, it gets a little sketchy. Uh, the brakes definitely need, need to be adjusted a little bit more to the rear, because I'm just locking up the fronts and it's just shutting down all steering capabilities. Uh, it's pretty easy to spin around though. Like the weight transfer is very nice. It's a good car. It's, it's not great, but it's good, it's good enough. We got a little bit of a gap on the guy in second, which is good. Ooh, whoa. Okay, keep it together. Just Let's just get rid of those tires for next time. I prefer taking the Joker over anything else. It's easier to enter. Spin it around. We got the last lap here. We got about a three-second gap on the guy in second. So we're just going to hold him back. And uh, just do the last couple turns here. Hopefully walk away with the win on the first race day. That'll be good for us. So just in case anything happens, we have that one win locked in. Which it looks like that's going to be the case. Because those guys back there aren't handling their cars very well. Jeez, I haven't changed the difficulty. They should be a little bit more difficult than this. Like, I've not got an eight second lead. So many tires. So many. Get off of this. What am I doing? Oh my god. Okay. We're going to double check the difficulty for sure because they were dropping real far back. They should be uh, they should be a little bit harder than that. So we walked away with the win on the first one, which is good. Unlock the street radiator for the TriStar, which is also good. And sports filter, sports air filter, one up to rank 13. All right, quickly, let's just go ahead and uh, I think everything's good. We're in the lead on the standings. Uh, with 100 points and we got lord bane in second with 80. all right so we're going to do the next event which is the firwood motor center the short circuit reverse uh, another three laps firwood motor center should be pretty good it is a shorter track it looks like there's quite a few corners so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the gear ratio just a little break bias i'm going to move it one to the rear uh, difficulty is on amateur. 
novice amateur and expert i was leaving it on amateur because last time i turned it up to expert they were just absolutely walking away with it so let's go ahead and see we're gonna leave it on amateur cause at least 500 damage is the bonus target we're gonna leave it on amateur for now and see because that's where i was all the rest of the time and i had some pretty good racing going on there but for some reason the ai doesn't seem like they can handle these compacts very well the back of that uh nexus says size doesn't matter <laughs> That's a cool bumper sticker for like a little compact car. Oh, ho, ho, keep it together. Keep it together. There, this is Lord Bane right here in the Firefly. Black and yellow Firefly. This is the guy that's in second in the standings. You can see why. I'm not trying to wreck you, man. I'm just trying to get around you. I don't think I've upgraded this car. It's just a standard killer bee. It's nothing crazy. It just seemed to be walking away with it. I think for the next two, we're going to bump it up to Expert. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. They just, the AI doesn't seem like they can handle the uh, these compacts very well. That was a terrible corner. We'll see how much of a gap we have at the end of this race. See if we're still in the lead. We're going to see. And then from there, if we need to, we'll up the, uh, the difficulty a bit. Try to get a little bit more competition out of this. Because I like racing. I like to win races by actually racing. Not just like getting up ahead on the first lap and then just driving two of the laps with no competition and you could tell like we've already got a three second lead on them and uh we're going into the final lap now so yeah i think we're definitely going to bump up the difficulty for the last two events see if we can get some good racing but it'll be good because we have two wins under our belt which means we'll have 200 points uh, which is pretty good. So just in case anything does happen, like we bump up the difficulty and they just absolutely walk away with it, uh, we should be good to be able to uh, hopefully still win this event. Or at least top three it. That's my goal. Just top three in this event, which I don't think will be ma that much of an issue. It's just surprising how much of a gap I'm getting on these guys. We're going to cross the finish line with a six-second gap on the guy in second. And we finished the first race with an eight second gap on the guy in second. So uh, we're definitely going to bump up the difficulty for this next race. We only have two events left. Uh, we're currently going to the Northland Raceway, inner loop reverse. And we're going to do three laps there. We'll bump up the difficulty though. So we, we'll, we'll try to see if we can get ourselves some, uh, some actual good racing. There we go. Expert difficulty. It's on the max. Uh, lead for at least two laps is our bonus target, which would have been great on the other difficulty. We'll see if we can do it on this one. Starting 13th, pretty far back. We'll see if the AI can handle their cars a little bit better now. Hopefully just handle themselves a little bit better. Ooh, just get in there. Just keep it easy. Got to see if the AI is just going to walk away with it now or if we're actually going to have some good racing. Because I noticed before, like, Amateur was a little bit just not as hard as I wanted, but Expert was way too hard. Uh, on the, but then again, this game has been updated like three, four times with some pretty big updates since uh, I kind of dialed in the difficulty. So maybe Expert is where I need to be. I don't know. There hasn't been an update since the last time I played this game that I'm, I'm, I'm aware of. I believe the last one was the April update. Oh, keep it together. We got a sharp turn here. Oh, there we go. Keep it together. Get in the power. See if we can catch these two guys up here. Oh, keep it off the wall. We took second place. There's the finish line right there. We'll see if we can catch this guy in first. We do have that bonus target of leading two laps. Don't know if that's gonna be possible. I slow down way too much for that corner. Oh man, third place is coming up quick. Don't do it, man. Oh, there we go. Huge gain on the guy in first. Harden the brakes, harden the brakes. Too much in the brakes. Oh, he went way wide into the wall over there. We got first place. Man, he hit that wall hard. I don't know what kind of turn he decided to do. He cut the inside real close and then just slid up into the wall. I can't really remember the track. I don't remember where we're going. I believe it's a left. I don't know how sharp. Here we go. All right, it's a full right here. You son of a second suck. Oh, not cool, man. Really not cool. 
That's really not cool what he just did. Uh, okay. We're going to see what we can do here. Oh, I'm not so worried about the bonus target. I'm just worrying about maybe getting a top three finish. Man, I can't believe he just completely spun me like that. He got right in my rear quarter panel and just held it. Just spun it. All right, let's go first person for this. We need to get some speed out of this car. And I always drive better in first person. Got to make some moves. Got to be a little aggressive. Cut the corner. Cut the corner. There we go. Harden the brakes. Harden the brakes. Harden the brakes. Oh, he's going to go into the wall again. We're back up in second. Here he is. Remember me? Remember spinning me into sixth place, you ass? You better hope I can't catch you. Come on, make your corner, make your corner. Ah, oh, That's some payback for you. That's some payback for him. It might have cost me first place, but I think it was worth it. Let's see if we can get on the inside of this guy. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Stick with him. Stick with him. I don't think we're going to be able to pass him. We're not going to be able to pass him, so we're going to lock in a second. But you know what? Payback was worth it. I'll take a second place. That was much better racing than the other two events. So I think we're going to keep it on expert for now. As long as uh, things don't get too difficult. Oh, man. I can't believe he spun me like that. Like, he had no... We were both trying to make a right turn. I was on the inside of him, and he just spun me around. So it's like... That's what you get. I worked my way back up there. I worked my way up to the front. Saw him again. And, uh... It, that's, what he, that's what he got. Pine Hills Raceway. Short circuit. The last event of this race. We'll see where we're going to come in. We've got uh, two first places and a second place. Finish first place is the bonus target. We'll go ahead and give that a shot. We're starting 12th. And uh, we'll keep an eye on our uh, our new rival here. I believe that's him right there, the 36. The red and yellow 36. Work our way to the inside. That was a nice move. Don't get spun. Don't get spun. I'm not trying to bump you, man. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be good. I mean, I don't want to spin anybody unless I absolutely have to. I mean, they're going to spin me wherever, any chance they get. So I'm just trying not to let this leader just run away with it. He's not very good at cornering, this guy. I know this racetrack. These are some pretty short corners. He's all over the place. He just spun it. He just spun it. He was a really fast car, and he completely spun it. There's massive wrecks happening back there. All right, we're in the lead now. We're going to try to just hang on to it. Man, the brakes. The brakes are good, but when you lock them up, this thing just does not want to turn. Does not want to turn. Okay. We're just going to keep hitting our marks here. I'm trying to work our way farther and farther away from second. See if we can walk away with a win here. It's looking all right. It's doing okay. Got to make sure we don't hit that wall coming off that last corner. Final lap. We've got a two and a half second lead on the guy in second. We can't go full lock on these brakes. That was an all right corner, not great. That Firefly is keeping up with me pretty well. Carboy Cam, keeping up with me pretty well. Gonna try to keep him at bay for these last two corners. We have this corner here, which we did okay. And then we have the final corner on the front stretch, which we're going to do fine on. We just got to not slam into the wall. Drift it. There we go. Nice and smooth. We're going to get the bonus target. There we go. Finish the event. Three first place finishes and a second place. I'm going to go ahead and say that we didn't have any difficulties winning this event. So we should walk away with the win with, what, 380 points. Very close to getting all 400. But that's definitely going to help us. We need to get uh, to 600 points in this event to unlock, uh, in this championship to unlock these events, which were about 120 away. So the next thing we're going to do is the Scandinavian Tour. 
which is all regions, all types, Class C cars. Uh, we can go ahead and see what car we want to actually drive. Um, we could do the Trickster, or we could do the Rocket. Uh, the Rocket, I know, has the most mods in it, but I don't know if it's actually the best car to be driving. It does have much better cornering compared to the Trickster, so I think we're going to end up taking the Rocket and uh, seeing how the Rocket does us. But let's go ahead and start in the Fincross circuit, the main circuit. And uh, we'll see if we can walk away with another win in this championship and unlock those other events. And uh, we'll keep it on expert for now. We'll see how the AI... It, it, I just It's weird. I had really good racing on amateur. Uh, spin at least three opponents is our bonus target. I had really good racing on amateur. And for whatever reason, in that compact series, they were not giving me a challenge. So we're going to leave it on expert. We're going to see how they do. And the rocket is quick. Working my way all the way up to the front already. We got a killer bee up here with us. We're running them wide. Into the tires. Oh, he rolled. Alright, keep it smooth. We're going to go on hood cam. I usually don't go on hood cam, but for some reason I feel like going on hood cam. Oh, that's an interesting corner. Don't bump me, guys. I remember this track. I got screwed over on this track heavily on during one race. I got spun on the last lap. Went from, like, first to, like, tenth. Remember that. And we're trying not to repeat that again. It's all because this corner coming up here is so sharp. You could easily spin out. Break. The, not this one. It's this one right here. This one's just so much sharper than you think, and it's just a long sweep and right, and it gets much sharper at the end. The car always wants to go much more sideways than you expect it to. And you gotta come out this way onto the dirt. Dirt uh, tarmac transition. Final lap. And uh, we're just gonna see if we can hold off second place. Hit them tires. Don't need them. Get rid of them. All right, we got a second and a half lead on the guy in second. We just got to be smooth. Don't make any mistakes. This is the last hard corner here. Oh, that was shitty. That was a really shitty turn. Really shitty. Just slide it onto the front stretch. There we go. We're going to get the win. Woo. I did not think we were going to do that. We started really messing up there. All right. That event is complete. We're unlocking a lot of parts for the Trickster. We'll definitely have to uh, check out what we can do to that after this event. Uh, so we're moving on to the next one. Pine Hills Raceway, the full circuit reverse. See if we can walk away with a win on this one. Uh, here's the event. We're gonna, I think difficulty's doing pretty good. The car felt pretty good. I don't think we're going to need to make any adjustments to it. we got to perform the best lap to get the bonus target. We're starting 15th out of 16. And uh, let's see if we can work our way up to the front, rocket our way up to the front. That's why they call it the rocket. Oh, sorry about that, man. Okay, let's go wide. Let's avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it all down there. There you go. Stick it wide. No, 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 no. Avoid the tree. Stay on the inside. You don't bump anybody. They don't get mad. That's a double apex turn right there. Going to uphill. And then it's going to make a sharp, sharp, long, sleeping, sweeping left. That guy just completely spun himself. Not a person touched him. That killer bee, he needs to adjust his gear ratio because he's getting all over the place. Not his gear ratio, his differential. He needs to slide it to open because that, that standard uh, differential on that killer bee is uh, very squirrely. It'd be a great drift car if there was drifting in this game, but there isn't. <laughs> so you gotta 
You gotta change that differential. Jesus, come on. Oh my god, I don't know what happened there. I hit the rumble strip and the whole car shot up in the air. Jesus. Alright, let's just hang on to it. Let's try to remember the track. This is the double apex. So it don't matter, we can go wide. And then keep it, and then come back in. Then we got that really sharp left uphill. Which it's a little sketchy because the car is going to want to get very upset. Okay, I think we're doing good. We just got to hold off second place. We got a five second lead on them, so we should be good to be able to complete this event. We got to perform the, the best lap, so I'm assuming that's lap time. So if we put down a good lap time, we should get the bonus target. I'm going to go ahead and apologize now. I know I probably seem a little bit less energy than I normally am. I know I'm not that much of a high energy person to begin with, but uh, I just have not been feeling good the past two days. Um, Sunday was National Hot Wing Day, which was amazing. And um, went out, got some hot wings, and every time you get hot wings, you got to get beer. And then um, ran out of hot wings and did not run out of beer. Uh, and then... <laughs> Yeah, so that happened, and it's now two days later, and I'm still dealing with it. So don't don't drink, kids. It's not it's not worth it. <laughs> it is in the moment, and then you have one day of hell afterwards where you're like, no, oh, that wasn't a good idea. And then I thought I was gonna wake up today and be totally fine and normal and and not have any issues. And well, that is not the case. <laughs> Oh, God. All right. Well, we walked away with the win on this one. We'll see if we get the bonus target. I don't know if we did. I'm assuming we did. Best lap, 59 seconds. I think we did. I think we got the fastest lap out of anybody there. We're unlocking so many things for the Trickster. We're going to get to rank 15. We did. Hey, we unlocked the Hammerhead. Look at that. Would you look at that? All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next event. The Northland Raceway Outer Loop. Three laps. We'll see if we're going to walk away with a win on this one. We have two wins in this championship already. We'll see what grid we're going to start out in. And everything else feels great. The car feels great. Yeah, it's been at least three opponents. We're starting 15th out of 16th. I really like this car to my right. That red and black. Like that, uh, what is that? Like a, um, like a Chevelle? Oh, God. All right, stick on the outside. Woo! Stick on the outside, stick on the outside, stick on the outside. Now on the inside. Oh, okay. Man, the Rocket is just a really nice car. It has enough weight to it that it can't be thrown around, but it's light enough that you can still kind of flick it around. It's, it's really good. Really, really nice. Oh, don't hit that. Hit that. Why is he standing? That is a horrific place to stand. I would never. I would never. In a banger race where there's cars banging and shit and like, no, absolutely not. Would not do it. You can't. You wouldn't. You couldn't pay me enough. To, and then just throw some tires around it and be like, you're good. You're standing on a little thin tubed metal uh, stand. Oh, I gave him a little bump. Not that much. Not for him to spin like that. Sweeping right onto the front stretch, I believe. Yep. Okay. We're already in first. We have a pretty good lead on second by the end of the first lap. We only have two to go. <gasps> and then we're going to hit that wall at a pretty good damn speed and fuck up the front of our car pretty well. We got some wood in my face. That's that's really good. And reword. Oh, don't do it. Oh, man. This thing almost just lost all control. The good thing about the rocket is, as soon as you uh, let out of the gas, it just plants itself. Well, then again, I was also on dirt, so that kind of helps me. Kind of sunk those tires in. Yeah, that position right there is horrific, because every time I'm coming around, my car is pointed right at him. I just, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Would not do it. Terrible place. It would look cool as hell. It'd be great shot for pictures. But, like, just no. Yeah, I mean, no. Absolutely not. Okay. 
There's a lot of people out today watching this race. Jesus, look how many people there is. A lot more people than I thought there would be. All right, coming up on the start-finish line. And final lap. Look how many people there is. There's so many people, it's insane. There's like people up on the hill back there. Look at that. There's so many people. I don't realize, why is there so many people? I don't get it. I almost spun it again. That corner is tricky, trickier than it seems. Come on, you can do it. All right, let's see. Oh, ho, ho, man. It's a pretty good track for drifting. You can get pretty sideways in some of these corners. All right, we're doing good. We only have a couple corners left. Ooh, don't hit that. I was gonna hit the wall for a second. All right, there we go. We got the last sweeping right to the front stretch. And then we'll be good. We'll walk away with a win on this one. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. All right, we're going to walk away with the win with the 5.5 second lead on the guy in second. And we won it. Awesome. Well, one more event to go in this uh, series. And we'll see if we're going to walk away with the win in the championship. Which I'm sure we will. I think we're doing pretty good. All right, going to the last event, the Furwood Motor Center, full circuit reverse. We'll see what kind of grid order we're going to be in for the last event. We got three wins so far in this event, three out of four. So if we can walk away with this one, we get a full, clean sweep. We got to finish in first position as the bonus target. Tenth position is where we're starting. We'll see if we can walk away with a win here. Get a clean sweep. I cannot speak today. Clean sweep. Oh, I'm just going to hit him. He got so much in the brakes there. Wasn't really sure what he was doing. We're going to try to give him his space. Race him clean. That is a sharp turn to the left. Didn't realize it. Keep it going. Keeping the power. Got another slight turn to the left. Don't go off track. Oh, uh oh, didn't mean it, didn't mean it. Let me help you there, bud. There you go, I tried. You spun it, I'm sorry. I saw that I knocked you a little, <gasps> Jesus. I knocked you a little bit out of whack and I tried to help him. Is this the start finish right here? Yes, it is, all right. One lap down. There's pretty much all lefts. We don't have many right turns, woo, keep it going. This guy's coming for me here. Oh, that's not where I needed to go. I was starting to make the left way too early. Come on. Oh, God. Get straight. There we go. Oh. 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 Keep it going. All over the track on this one. I don't remember this track at all. I don't know if I've ever done this one. And then we did that first lap. I don't really remember it. So I'm trying to remember what... <laughs> What's going on? I know this is one, the second to last. We do that turn, Jesus. We go up this little hill, little right curve here, and there's the start finish. So we really can't mess up that, that really hard left turn. Final lap. Final lap. Ooh. All right, we're gonna try to keep it smooth here. So NASCAR Heat 3, I know I did NASCAR Heat 2 a long time ago. This is kind of random, but I've been really wanting to play it. Uh, NASCAR Heat 3, I believe, is going to release um, sometime soon, uh, like within the next couple of months. And uh, I really enjoyed NASCAR Heat 2, and I wanted to make a series on it with Jeff. We were going to do a multiplayer series of uh, NASCAR events where we followed the, uh, the tracks as they did them in real life and do like one episode a week and do like 50% of the races. Unfortunately, the multiplayer was acting a little strange in NASCAR Heat 2, but 3 is coming out soon. So I'd like to see if we can maybe get that done in NASCAR Heat 3. And I wanted to ask what you guys had, what you guys thought about that. Would that be something that you'd be interested in watching us doing 50% races every week at the tracks that they're doing them? And we would follow their events and keep score and do all that stuff. And uh, 
keep track of it and see like what kind of points we would end up with and stuff like that. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. And I'm definitely wanting to do that. So hopefully we can do that sometime soon. Uh, we did finish this event in first place though. So we did get a clean sweep. We're going to walk away with 400 points and we got two stars, which is very nice. And uh, we should have enough to have unlocked these, which we did. Um, so we need a class B car for the demolition or the sand pit uh, smack fest, which uh, we might be able to pick one up soon because we currently have 24,000 credits. But we did unlock the rest of these events and we unlocked the super van event, which we do have uh, the destruction derby for the super van. So we'll have to give that a shot. Uh, but it looks like we have about four to five events left for this championship. And we need another uh, 1,190 points to be able to progress to the, uh, the I believe it's the Challenger series after that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do like the Wreck Fest and would like to see it continue, remember to hit the like button. It's the easiest way to let me know you want to see more. Also, if you are interested in watching that NASCAR Heat 3 series when NASCAR Heat 3 does come out, which, again, I'm not really sure when. I know uh, last year it was kind of around this time, like uh, August, September. Uh, so when it does come out, if you would like to see that, we're definitely going to check out multiplayer and see if it's a little more stable than it was. If it is, I know Jeff's totally excited to do it. I'm really excited to do it. If you're excited to watch, let me know. And uh, I'll talk to Jeff more about getting that series going. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.